Hi everyone, welcome back to Pastel Peony channel. I'm going to review these um, Loewe basket bag in small size. And here is the bag because I am um, just back from Bali and I'm going, going to review this bag because I brought this bag along with my trip and I find it very great bag for travel especially to the uh, the country that like a uh, summertime or it's like a beach kind of um, travel destination I feel this bag is a perfect fit and today I'm going to uh, review and also what's in my travel bag so basically this is the Loi Wei in um, basket design in a small size I have it in white leather and I do love the tan as well but I feel the white goes well with my outfit more and adjust to the longest length for the strap because I feel it's more comfortable that way and I used uh, its own dust bag as the, the storage for the items that I bring along so basically inside the bag is totally empty there's no compartments or anything um, you have to put your own like a bag organizer or this kind of like its own dust bag is from Loewe and I just use this bag and put inside a basket bag and I think it's a good size and the perfect one to you know like uh, insert into your basket bag and what makes this bag a great travel bag first is that I find this bag really lightweight even though I have a lot of heavy things here but the, the bag on its own is really lightweight so you don't have to carry a heavy um, tote along the whole trip so it's really make life easier second is that it is very easy to take care the bag itself make, didn't make of the full leather it's a different material which is this um, uh, rattan kind of uh, material so when it rains it's just dry out very easily so it's different from some types of the leather that uh, when it rains it start to have the water stain and so on if you don't have like a water stain proof or the protection but for this kind of bag you don't have to worry when it gets wet and you just leave it dry third is that it's so big you might see that this is a small size, I have the big size too. For me, I have quite a number of items inside, um, which I think is already enough for my trip. If you have more, you might want to choose a bigger size, but to me, this is very good size. It's not too big for my frame and also store all things that I need. So I find it's a big bag, like you can go shopping with this one also even though you have your personal belonging inside but you still can shop some small things and put inside the bag so it's the it's a great tote bag four is you don't have to worry about the scratches because it's really less likely is the scratch going to happen the leather from Loewe is really durable I have this in white and you seldom see like um scratches or stain because I feel that the surface of the leather is very durable it's not easy to get scratches I don't spot any scratches so far I have been using this for many years and I don't see the major defect on my bag and also when you keep this bag for quite some time there's no mold which I love this bag so much. Some of my rattan bag comes with mold after a while because in Singapore it's very humid here and it's very easy to have mold on your um, on your bag. There's no mold no matter how long I keep this. And one more pro about this bag is fit perfectly under the seat on the plane. I didn't expect that because I don't know how high it is for the plane seat on the plane you have to put the bag under your seat that is like a common rule for all the airlines and i personally don't want to put this on top of the cabin storage but i want to put it near myself like put it near me and where i sit so i was a bit worried that i cannot fit this under the seat but apparently it's fit perfectly under the seat and I'm gonna show you the photos on Soda I too because I really amazed with 
how like the size is perfectly fit and it's like a perfect travel bag for me. I travel with quite numbers of um uh I bring quite numbers of tote along, including like Chanel de Ville, Dior, Book Tote in medium size. But both of them I have to put it um upstairs. But for this one it can be with you under the seat and be near you downstairs. So I really love how it fit when I travel. I personally have two cons about this bag. First, it is in white and I find it get dirty really easily, especially in the handle. Even though I say there's no stain on the logo and so on, uh, I travel, I don't really baby my bag. I use this and store it under the motorbike seat as well because I travel in Bali and the only transport that is so easy to get around is motorbike. And I really enjoy the motorbike and I put this in the under the motorbike seat and I'm so scared that it's gonna have some you know stain or anything like that um, but it doesn't happen however the dirt or the stain happen on the strap itself which is like how often you use it and I think it's normal to to have it so it's a bit you see that it's kind of um, dirty over here because I use it a lot so you see the color um, that is like being used very often compared to the the side. So it happens on on both sides, which something that I expected. If you don't want this kind of uh, uh, stain or the side of usage, maybe you can go for other color that is darker, especially in tan. I think it's um uh, it's really it's harder to spot. Another con about this bag is that it's very wide open bag. You need something to uh, cover to secure your bag. I have this one, but it's also um, it's not something that stick to the bag. It's removable, so it means if I drop my my bags, this one can you know like people can just grab it anytime. So I'm going to do what is in my travel bag and let's get started first i brought my tissue and i have my ferret ferret wallet from chanel this is a cat holder i have my medicine because i suffer with my gas reflux recently so this is garbage gun i usually bring this along to uh, travel because um, especially in the country that the food are quite spicy like in Bali or in Thailand because it tend to trigger GERD trigger uh, as it reflux very easily so I have Gaviscon with me I also bring along the anti-bug patch which is from Guardian so um, it's 24 pieces they have like 12 and 24 pieces on so but they have a promotion for 24 uh, pieces so it's like um, lemon glass kind of smell and you can stick on to the clothes I find it's quite good so I use it together with uh, my mosquito spray so I put this to put this patch stick on my clothes when I in Bali especially like nighttime or um, the place that is more like a jungle or the forest of course i do have my passport this is pass passport cover from dior and this is my passport i still have my boarding pass here this is my sunglass that i brought along this is from ribbon and i have the ribbon round with me i really love this because it's really light it's very tiny and easy to keep I have my earpiece for my phone, hair scrunchie, and another hair scrunchie. Most importantly, this is the mosquito spray, and this is from Thailand. It's called Soft Fail. So it's the mosquito repellent liquid spray. So the scent is flower, and it's not like a smelly kind of spray. I spray this um, on my on my legs, on my my arms to prevent mosquito and the side is so quite portable so I use it during Bali so it's like almost half I really like this brand because the the scent is not way too strong some of the brand out there it has a super strong 
um, lemon glass kind of smell but for this one it's more like a flower smell which I really like I have my hand sanitizer and I have clean and clear oil control films I have quite a number of perfume from Louis Vuitton uh, I have, I'm using these two the Pacific Shield from LV and another one is Orage another one is Orage from Louis Vuitton as well so um, two of the perfume one piece of the separated Guardian anti butt patch I also put my phone inside I put my blocking camera inside so there will be the Bali vlog coming up soon as well and that's all about the review of the Louis Vuitton basket bag today I hope you enjoy it and hope you give this video a thumbs up and see you again in the next video. Bye!